Mm-hmm. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, ma. Uh, how is your day, ma? Oh? My name is Prince Yemi Kasali. Um, the one um, who you told can call you anytime. Okay. Yes, ma. <laughs> How's your day going, ma? I'm fine, no. Oh, we fine. bless God. So, I'm here to talk to you, and um, I don't know where you want us to talk. As in, uh, which area do you want uh, more explanation concerning the Utron package? I mean, I, I don't even have any idea I of the mission. It's just the messages that you've been sending. Yeah, you're not I going through my messages, does it? I do go through it though, but to be honest, I don't read all because most times I will come No, I'm not even saying all. I'm messages. talking about the area of um, presentation. For example, I have invited you to a lot of Zoom meetings. I have sent a lot of um, recorded Zoom meetings. I have sent, you know, uh, videos on my own explanations and so on. So you are not following us. <laughs> well, it's okay. It's okay. It's one of those things. Um, what I want to know is, um, what's your idea on um, crypto in general? Have you done businesses in crypto and? And um, what exactly do you know about crypto? <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't really know much about crypto. Are you just, tra- are you a trader? No, I don't trade. I don't know how to trade. My only is just to uh, maybe use it for transactions oh. for somebody or do one or two with it. I transactions. I don't trade. Uh, what kind of transactions do you do with crypto? Like I'm sorry. sending to somebody. Yes, I like know. Selling uh, to. Yeah, I know, but uh, uh, there will be businesses that bring the transaction now. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just buy. Sometimes I will just buy the coin and keep. Wow. Maybe that will move. Uh, that's a trader. You're people. trading already. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, you're I'm trading. Like that. No, 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 no. We have um, we have a lot of ways of trading. We have the long term trading, which is the easiest. And um, sometimes it might have good profit because you'll be spending time on the coin. Then we have short yes. tradings. Short tradings, those are where the real game is. You know, some people feel it is very lucrative. Like, instead of me to wait for a year to sell and get maybe 100% profit, I can decide to be selling and get 1% profit every blessed day. So that's going to be 300% profit at the long run. You understand mm-hmm. for a year, so it depends on individual, but it is more stressless <laughs> to just buy, keep, and um, let it be. Whenever I come back, let me come and see it. But whichever the case mm-hmm. may be, that doesn't mean you not go out of, um, you not go the other way around. For example, those who purchased coin last year are yet to sell this year, in exception of if you want to sell in loss. <laughs> Because last year the coin went really down. There was mm. you know, it went really down and um it discouraged a lot of people. <laughs> so that's just it. Well, we have a lot of ways of uh, making money from the crypto space. We have trading and the trading is even in three places. We have the normal spot trading, those are buy, hold and sell. Then we have the spot trading, which is the leverage trading. Is the trading for the big guns, and it's really good money. The only thing is you have good loss. <laughs> um, last year, my wife gave me some amount of money, three hundred dollars to be precise, and she wanted yeah. to use the money to for something. So she wants me to help her work on the money to to make it more reasonable. And um, I started doing forex with it. Um, I mean futures with it. And I was able to accumulate about one thousand yeah. dollars, but just one night, the whole money went off. <laughs> mm-hmm. right. So it was it was really tough for me. You know, we we couldn't say anything. We were just expressing it with um, eyeballs. Uh, like she knew something is wrong. Like what's wrong? I was just looking at her. Then uh, the money don't go. <laughs> I just mm-hmm. nodded. <laughs> So uh, that's how funny crypto space is. But the truth is, it is leveraging. You know you are leveraging. So and you know the 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 game is just like forex. 
anybody tells you that oh you are going to make money on forex without you losing oh bring money let me help you trade you never lose it's a lie ipc yeah. said that they went off with our money <laughs> you understand mm -hmm. so and a lot of companies have come with that story they will always go off because it's a lie no matter how good you are on this earth you would always lose when you are trading futures and when you are trading forex the only thing mm -hmm. is for you to be able to manage your loss so that your gain will be more than your loss it is just mm -hmm. a proper money management that would help you out Otherwise, you always lose. There's nothing anybody can do about it. There's nothing anybody can do about it. And the more profit you want to make, the more loss you'll be getting. <laughs> so uh, there's something we call arbitrage, arbitrage trading. Arbitrage trading is simply buying and selling coin. You know, those ones that they do on Binance, whereby people will be buying from you, you'll be selling to people. But that one also mm. needs um, a huge amount of money, like, because the interest rate is small. You know, we are just selling on a maybe, um, zero, or maybe on a um, hundred naira profit, that about, um, not even mm. up to hundred naira. Sometimes you are selling on something very small. So it now depends on the capital you are trading with. For example, if you are trading with a thousand dollars, you know one naira in ta in one thousand places, that is one thousand naira. So if you now do the trade for about five times a day, that is five thousand naira a day. You understand? So um, it involves good money. But what we are talking about in um, on um, Ultron is far beyond all those things. It's far beyond it. Number one, the the major thing we are talking about is taking. I don't know if you are used to Binance very well. No, I don't normally use Binance. Like you that. use Trust Wallet? I don't even understand Binance. Oh. I use Trust Wallet hey. and uh, Okay. And what? Busha. Okay, I'm not even aware of that. I don't even know that one. But I'm used to Binance and Trust Wallet. Trust Wallet is good. It's good. It's a, it's a, it's a decentralized exchange. It's good. But um, Binance is a centralized exchange. That means Binance is like a bank whereby the, the, uh, there is an owner where you keep money with and help you dispose money. But Trust Wallet, it's like an intermediary. Like you can swap from this to this without you giving money to anyone. It's just like a means of exchange. It's just like trade by butter where you exchange mm. the money here. But what I'm trying to say is staking is on Binance. If you look at all these um, centralized exchanges, you see staking on it. What staking simply means is giving, holding a coin, just like you are buying to hold for a long time. But you have a kind of um, commitment to buy and hold that coin for a specific number of years, months, you know, days, whatever, for a specific amount of interest. But the interest will be paid in the coin. I don't know okay. if you get what I'm trying to say. What taking yeah. simply means? Taking simply means hold a coin. It's just like you are becoming a will for a coin, a validator for a coin. Because the, the reason why people, why companies always bring staking is because they want the coin to grow. The yeah. more people that are buying and holding a coin, the more the coin grows. grows. Yeah. When people are selling their coins, the more the coin depreciates. So the companies want us to buy that coin to hold so that the coin grows. So if you want me to buy your coin, what will I be getting? There are millions of coins out there. So what will I be getting? So they will promise you a particular percentage interest. But in that coin, not US dollars, not Naira. In that okay. coin, in that same coin, that in that bought. same coin. For example, if you buy one thousand coins, they will tell you, okay, one thousand coins. You are having one thousand coins. You'll be getting, for example, with Utron, you'll be getting zero point two percent every blessed day. So okay. zero point two percent. I'm having six thousand coins, and the six thousand coins, zero point two percent every blessed day is twelve coins. 
Yes. You understand? So I'll be getting 12, 12 coins every blessed day. So that makes it even more interesting because the coin itself has good tendency of growing. If I am going to be given in US dollars, that means it's going to be on a stable, it's going to be a flat amount. But yes. that's, so what do we call it? That 12 coins that I'll be giving every blessed day. Today it's worth about um, $1.2. That is what it's worth today. When I purchased it, it was about 12 cents. <laughs> that it was the worth when I purchased the staking. Tomorrow, that 12 coins every blessed day might worth $12 when the coin rises to $1. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, the, the the value of the coin depends on what you'll be getting every blessed day depends on the growth of the coin. But the problem about staking is this. The problem about staking is this. I'll give you a typical example. Last year, Bitcoin was about 60,000 plus. This year, it went to about 20,000 plus. Yeah. Now, assuming I staked Bitcoin last year and they said they will give me 100% in a year. So if I bought maybe one Bitcoin last year and they said, oh, you get 100% in one year. And this year, they now give me two coins. So I'm now getting two coins because I have 100%, my coin and the profit, making two coins. But yeah. this year, the coin is about 20,000 plus. So even if I'm selling the two coins, it is not up to the amount I purchased at the beginning. Yes, yes. You understand? So that is the challenge we have with staking. The same challenge that people have when they buy and hold a coin. So that is why we need to understand which coin to stake. We don't mm. want to stake a coin that has already saturated, that is going down, going up, you know, outrageously, you don't know what, what it can be. You want to stake a coin that has potential. One way of knowing a coin that might grow up, that might grow, is to um, is to have what do we call it? Um, how do I tell it? To stake a new coin, a coin that has just been launched. So because you know the coin is new, so there is good tendency of the coin growing. But there's also another problem: not all coins will ever grow. Okay. It is that is the basic truth. Not all coins, just like um, I don't know if you are an Igbo. Yes, I'm Igbo. Okay, don't mind me. I'll make just of you. Um, I like that you are having. Uh, I like that you are having Biafra currency. Yes. Yeah. Hey. But the Biafra currency is it useful in the real world right now? No, because they need some specification before it can be useful. Before it, They need to meet up some standard before you can start saying, yes, we would authorize the exchange. Just like my own people also, I'm a Yoruba guy, they said they have the Aududu currency. But the Aududu currency is just a currency that somebody just prints. It's useless. So oh, what okay. am I trying to say is all coins will come out, but... I don't want to exaggerate, 70% of them will die a natural death. Because, <laughs> yes, that is the bitter truth. That's the bitter truth. And that is the reason why a lot of us are crying on the internet. You know, we don't understand. So when somebody comes in, oh, buy this new coin, uh, Bitcoin, that is the way it started. Ethereum started that way. And a lot of people are saying all these things. And you buy it. And the coin now did not even become useful. So you lose that money because it is worthless. What you are having is worthless. And people will start crying, oh, crypto, don't mind them. They think they know that, oh, crypto is nothing. But they didn't understand what happened. I don't want to exaggerate. 70% of the coins would go back to where they are. They would die a natural death because they will not grow. They will not be useful. They will not meet up. And this is an illusion. That's the bitter truth. Because before a coin can be useful, it needs a use. It needs a specific users. So during the process that they are looking for users is when they are getting to everyone to buy. But because they tried, 
maybe I'm just saying maybe they need 1 million users and they only have 500,000 users so those 500,000 users users will not make it work and the coin will die a natural death do you understand what I'm saying so that is why people cry in crypto it is um, it needs um, technical analysis but why are we so proud and um, confident with Utron? Because I would answer you. Maybe not me. They tell you the bad thing. <laughs> if I'm not sure of myself, I will not be saying this. <laughs> now, the reason why we are talking about Utron is because it is a coin of counterpart with Binance coin, which is a BNB, Ethereum. Mm -hmm. Um, Solana, Cardano, um, Avalanche, Polygon. And what makes it a counterpart? They are all blockchain coins. Now, mm -hmm. the question is, somebody asked me, is there any coin that is not on blockchain? No. Every crypto coin will be based on a blockchain. But there is difference between a tenant and a landlord. Do you understand? Yeah. There is a difference between a tenant and a landlord. If you rent my house, my apartment, and I don't like you tomorrow, I will send you out. But mm -hmm. if you don't even like me, now you go go out also. Mm -hmm. So the same thing here. There is a difference between coin and token. A coin is the one who owns a blockchain. He owns his own blockchain. Why token rents a blockchain? They stay on a blockchain. They are not the owner of the blockchain. So not all token would behave well in the market. Not all tokens would rise to greater heights. But all coins will get to greater heights. Number one, they hold their blockchain. Number two is they 